Today at Dave and LJ's, we're gonna be talking about auto motion shades. They're the newest, latest, and greatest remodeling idea that we have to offer today. So what we're gonna be showing you today is a complete cockpit conversion as well as a complete living room shades all done in power. Many of you, I'm sure, have the old drapes that pull around the front, Velcro in the center, tie back on the side, you know what that uh, the problems with those are, as well as the pleated day-night shades and the string, string problems that those have. So what we're gonna be showing you is a two-part roller shade that will, will replace in the cockpit the drape, the visors, and even the snap-on curtain that goes on the side. So the first thing we need to do is take out the old curtain, the old hardware, all the old visors, as well as all the supporting hardware of the old drapes and visor system. As well as in the living room portion, we need to take out the complete balance and lambrequin so we can get the old curtains out and install the new ones in there. The auto motion shades install with a few clips. So what we would do is put the clips in with a number 10 screw and then snap the shade into the clips. The next thing we would want to do is adjust the shades. The auto motion shade system comes with two adjustments, one for the height and one for the rise in the shades. The nice thing about the adjustments on the side of the shade is you can hide the shades up in a balance or leave them down so you can easily access them if we're doing manual. The living room shades install exactly like the cockpit shades. You, you would put the clips in the balance and then snap the shade into the balance and then put the whole system back in place just like we took it out. In this coach, we actually put in power shades. So what we need to do is connect to a power supply. Most of the time we can find those up in the cabinet, underneath the false bottom in the cabinet. The nice thing about the automotion shades is it really cleans up the cockpit area. In this particular application, they had a big wood sleeve that covered the drape. We no longer need that because the automotion shades are flat against the wall. To complete that nice clean look, we're going to put a fabric covered or vinyl covered uh, balance in that covers the roller portion of the shades to really finish off the look of the cab. Here we are all installed and we're ready to show you the operation of these shades. As you can see in the driver's area, it's very easy to just reach up, grab the shades, adjust the day, and then the night to block the sun that's coming through. As far as the front, the power shades are hooked up to the same switching system as your power visors were, and you use a day and night to again, custom block the sun coming through the windows. As you can see, we're a full width shade instead of the little tiny visor where the sun's always coming through the wrong places. Auto Motion has a 16 channel remote control, which gives you the ability to control each individual shade by itself, day or night, or all of the shades, both day and night, all at once. So when you get up in the morning, hit the night shades up and all the night shades come up. Again, hit the all day shades come up and then they, all the shades go up. So one little thing to, to think about is getting up in the morning and going to each individual shade and going night and day up versus walking up to your new auto motion shade remote, hitting one button and having all your shades rise at once. So if you're thinking about auto motion shades, we have a nice selection of both night and day fabrics. And then in our showroom, we have full working samples of all the products that we've talked about today. So if you're in the market for something like that, we'd love to give you a quote, help you with sizes. So you can either visit us online at daveandljs.com or come by our showroom where we can go out your rig, measure, and see all the new products we have here. So once again, thank you for watching Dave and LJ's RV Interior Design.